So I don't know about you, but I've been hearing the term loud budgeting a lot on social media. And at first I was thinking, what on earth is loud budgeting? Is this something that is completely new where we've never done it before? I then had a look at what the term loud budgeting is and it turns out that I've pretty much been doing loud budgeting for the past four years and I've also been doing consistent budgeting probably for the last six years and so in this video I want to talk about what loud budgeting is and I also want to share some tips if you want to start loud budgeting too. Okay so first of all I wanted to share what the term loud budgeting is and if you google it there are a lot of blogs a Lot of articles talking about this so i've just taken an extract from nerdwallet.com and it pretty much says loud budgeting is about looping others into your financial goals and combating money shame so it's all about aligning how you spend your money with the goals you want to achieve which can be empowering so basically i think the idea is trying to be a bit more transparent when it comes to your finances and actually sharing maybe not a hundred percent of your situation but if you have specific goals that you're working towards you might think about sharing that with your friends and family and this is something that i think is really interesting because although it's kind of a new trend the concept of being transparent with your finances and maybe actually sharing your budget isn't new. I mean, for me, I've been doing it since 2020. When I started my YouTube channel, I actually started showing my budget and talking through what I'm actually focusing on and what I'm trying to do when it comes to money. But what I want to do in this video is I do want to share some tips if you are someone who is thinking about doing loud budgeting and you want to be a bit more transparent when it comes to your finances here are some things you can think about. Okay so the first tip I want to give you is if you want to start doing loud budgeting or just budgeting in general you want to write down your goals first. Now the reason why I'm making this point is because when it comes to loud budgeting one of the concepts is being a bit more transparent when it comes to your finances. So for example you may decide that you don't want to spend as much money and so you're going to be thinking about oh if my friend asked me to go out what will I say? Will I be telling them I don't want to go out because I don't want to spend as much money? And whilst that's definitely something that you may want to consider I think it's so important important to be thinking about your goals and what you're working towards first because if you're telling yourself that oh I don't want to spend money but you don't have a specific reason why well then what's the point <laughs> what I mean is when you're thinking about okay I don't want to spend money why is there something that you're specifically working towards so that when you are transparent and again you can decide how transparent you want to be with your finances but when you are being transparent you're also thinking about what you're working towards so it could be that you're trying to save your first five thousand it could be that you have a 2k overdraft and you're trying to pay that off as soon as possible or maybe you want to start investing at least 250 each month whatever it is i think thinking about your goals first is actually really important because it will then help you when it comes to being much more transparent and you'll just have more of a clear direction you won't be telling yourself oh I don't want to spend money but I don't know why I don't want to spend money and then later on you potentially end up spending all of that money because you didn't know why you stopped spending this will actually ground you to then tell yourself oh no I have a specific goal that I'm working towards and hence when I'm being transparent with my friends or family or whoever it is I know that in the back of my mind there is a specific reason on why I'm doing that and if you're liking this video so far then feel free to give me a thumbs up as it really does help to support the channel plus it's free and writing your goals doesn't have to be complicated it doesn't have to take a long time it's something that I definitely do with my clients first before we even set any form of budgeting because I want them to really be confident in that making a change with their finances is going to get them the goal that they want and so if they do decide to be much more transparent they have a specific reason why so if you want to learn more about working with me and how I can help you create a budget so you can save more I'll make sure it's linked in the description below for you to check out one-on-one -on -one coaching but when it comes to loud budgeting or just budgeting in general I think one of the best things is actually having your goals written down so that you can understand what you need to prioritize and when you're being transparent you also know what you're working towards so my second tip 
tip when it comes to loud budgeting or budgeting in general is to include all of the numbers even if you think you won't spend. Now this might sound a bit controversial because I think when it comes to loud budgeting or what I've seen on social media many people are trying to spend less money or they're trying to spend a bit more intentionally they're trying to spend on things that are much more valuable which I definitely agree with I love the idea of spending intentionally it's something that I do and my clients do all the time however I do think it's also important to understand that our behaviors will not go from zero to 100 in a day. So we have to be okay with knowing that yes, we potentially will spend some money and be okay with it as long as we plan for it. So if for example, you're kind of telling yourself that actually I wanna spend less money, I don't really wanna go out as much, but then you tell yourself that you're not gonna go out at all, what happens if you eventually go out? What happens if your friend asks you to go to the cinema and you decide that actually, I don't wanna say no because I really wanna spend some time with my friend and so you end up spending money. You don't wanna feel bad about doing that. And so what I'm saying is that yes, you wanna spend money on things that are valuable, but you also want to be okay with putting spending in your budget. You wanna be okay with actually putting those numbers in your budget. So not only will you include your bills like rent, transport, utility bills, all of that good stuff. You also want to include the numbers for your spending as well. So not only are you going to include transport, you may want to also include eating out. You may also want to include entertainment. And to be honest, I actually think that when it comes to managing your money well and learning how to save, the best way you can do that is knowing how to also spend money at the same time. So for me, if I use my Myself as an example when I'm doing my budget and when I'm sharing my budget yes I will include that I'm saving money and I will include that I'm also paying my bills but I will also include that I'm spending money too I have a section for eating out I have a section for just spending money on random things however I have still been able to save a good proportion of my income because I've learned how to do both. In fact, back in 2018, I decided that I was going to pay off all of my debt. I had about 16K that I needed to pay off and I paid it off actually in 18 months. But during that time, my friends had no idea I was paying off that debt and they had no idea because I still made an effort to see them. I was still spending some money to go out with them and see them and spend time with them, but it didn't stop me from reaching my goals. I was still able to pay off that debt in 18 months and at the time I was earning less than 35k a year so what I'm saying is that yes of course you want to think about your spending that's something that you can definitely do but don't always think that you have to go from zero to 100 don't always think that you have to completely stop spending money I think actually learning how to do both is when you truly master the art of managing money okay so my third tip when it comes to loud budgeting or budgeting in general is to make the process fun do not make it boring now what i mean is that i definitely agree with the idea of loud budgeting basically being more of like an empowering thing where you're taking control of your finances and i definitely agree i love talking about personal finances if you're new to my channel i have so many videos talking about money in general but what i really want to stress is that if you want to be much more transparent with your finances also make your journey fun it does not have to be this boring excruciating process where you're literally just not spending any money you're not enjoying your money you're not doing anything and you're just trying to save it does not have to be like that even when you're actually doing your budget again this doesn't have to be this long boring complicated process where you're trying to look at all of these numbers and do all of these maths you can literally have a simple budget where you decide this is how much I want to save, these are my bills, and this is how much I want to spend, and leave it at that. And then you can just enjoy the money that you've allocated for spending, knowing that you have also saved money already, and you've also taken care of your bills. In fact, I would actually argue that when you do make your budget fun, when you do make the process a bit more lighthearted, you are more likely to stick to it. You are more likely to make it much more sustainable. So that, if you decide to do this 
allowed budgeting or just budgeting in general because let's be honest it's basically budgeting if you decide to do this process it's more of a lifestyle thing it's not something that you're dragged into it's something that you just basically have built habits for and it's almost like brushing your teeth like for me for example I enjoy looking at my budget every single month and it's literally because I'm just looking at the goals that I'm focusing on but I'm also thinking about how I want to spend my money as well so you really just want to make the process fun make it light-hearted yes feel free to be transparent again you can be as transparent as you want to be I don't think there's a level of transparency that you have to be with friends or family but make it fun light-hearted and enjoy the process guys I don't care what anyone tells you personally for me budgeting can be fun because you're the one that's in control of it you can choose how to make the budget work for you you can choose how you want to spend your money and you can also choose how you also want to save your money too now in one-on-one -on -one coaching I can actually help you to not only create a budget but I can also help you save your first 5k in less than six months by creating a budget that entirely works for you so make sure you check that out if you haven't already what you can do is just book a call with me to find out more about one-on-one -on -one coaching and how I can help you save your first 5k so I'll link more information up here for you and in the description below and so although the term loud budgeting may be a trend the budgeting process overall is something that you can do and implement into your everyday life it's not something that you maybe do for a couple of months and then that's it I've been doing it for years and let me tell you it is one of the best decisions I have made I would not have been able to pay off my debt or I wouldn't have been able to save over 10k in less than 12 months if it wasn't for God and my budget so if you did like this video then please do give me a thumbs up if you haven't already and let me know in the comments had you heard of the term loud budgeting before this video I do post every Sunday so if you would like to know more then of course you can subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week